I'm very excited about the next generation science standards. They now feature three dimensions. One of those dimensions are scientific and engineering practices. There are eight pra practices that have been defined and these are the way that scientists and engineers go about asking questions and solving problems. And students will be engaged. This is what we formally called inquiry, but everyone's definition of inquiry was a little bit different. Now we can get down to specifically what we mean by actually doing science with the scientific and engineering practices. Now these are woven into the other two dimensions. It used to be in science, I like to think of a boat, and uh, people would say, students have to learn the content. So everyone would run to one side of the boat, and the boat starts sinking, and they'd say, wait, wait, they've got to learn it by doing science, so we have to have inquiry. So everyone runs to the other side of the boat, and it starts sinking again. Now we've got a balance. We've got the content, and we have the scientific and engineering practices, and we've got them evenly distributed. But we have more than that. The third dimension are cross-cutting concepts, and this is the mortar that holds everything together. So it's something that goes through all of the content. For example, patterns, uh, cause and effect. These are things we see in every area of science. I think that with the next generation science standards, we are paving the way to help our students become scientifically, scientifically literate and to help them compete in this global economy that we have. 